Nothing could have prepared Bob for what he experienced during World War II. His emotions took over with the news of D-Day. It inspired him to abandon his pre-written radio program and speak directly from his heart. What happened during these last few hours, not one of us will ever forget. How could you forget? You sat up all night by the radio and heard the bulletins, the flashes, the voices coming across from England, the commentators, the pilots returning from their greatest of all missions, newsboys yelling in the street, and it seemed that one world was ending and a new world beginning. You sat there and dawn began to sneak in and you thought of the hundreds of thousands of kids you'd seen in camps the past two or three years. And now you could see all of them again in 4,000 ships on the English Channel, tumbling out of thousands of planes over Normandy and the occupied coast. God bless those kids across the English Channel. I saw all our boys really doing a sensational job over there. And I mean one of the greatest jobs, fighting for one of the greatest things that we know of. And that's our country, and you can very well be proud of this great country because we have seen the rest of it, ladies and gentlemen. And they're over there doing, well, the job of their lives. Looking into the face of war forever changed Bob. He knew the horror of it could never really be washed away by laughter. I've seen some great acts of achievement in the past few years. I saw a boy in a hospital in Esprito Santos lying in a bed, taking on a quart of blood plasma. This skinny American hero looked up, smiled, said, that feels good. Two hours later, they told us that boy died. And there's Salerno and Saipan, a North African Guadalcanal. An aircraft carrier that went down dragging Jap battleships and destroyers and Nazi subs and planes along with them. Little jungle clearings and road crossings and creeks and rivers without names. The achievement of capturing those places took more than perseverance and intelligence. It took blood and missing limbs and blinded eyes and shattered nerves and ruined lives. I'd like to thank every kid in uniform for the honor of working for him. 